Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So in today's video, we are going snowmobiling. This is actually my first time snowmobiling. If this area looks familiar, we were up there last year at Lesser Ridge. It was my least favorite hike, but it should be way more fun on a sled. I don't think we're, we're going that way. I think we're going down the road a bit. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna put all my gear on. I'm gonna put my snow pants on, my heated socks, and let's go. See you in the next clip. Do I look cold? Yeah. Do I look cold? Kinda. Kind of, yeah. I need to put my helmet on and stuff and then we're good to go. Yeah. I've actually never worn this thing. I've come really close during some of my hikes, but it's actually not even that cold. It's like minus four right now. There's a lot of snow though. Hello. So I have all my gear on. I look like a blue Smurf right now, but we're almost ready. I could have like recorded my reaction but I was way too terrified to actually like record my reaction I think I'm one of those people that are better off on the ground you know like hiking mountains hiking to high places and not so much like being at the back of a sled I literally feel like I'm on a roller coaster that's like not ending
get hot water from wherever I stop. So if it's like McDonald's, then I'll get hot water from there. If it's Starbucks, I'll get hot water from there. And then when you go back into the car after you go hiking or snowmobiling or skiing or whatever the case may be, you have hot tea and it's great. It's very, very comforting. So that was our adventure today. I'm gonna keep vlogging though because we're not done yet, are we? No. No. <laughs> no, we're not. We're gonna go look at some, maybe some lunch, some ice cream. Yeah, lunch and ice cream. Also, do you guys like my hat? It's a capybara that a pelican's trying to eat. Because <laughs> fat. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip. donut on my lips right now I've been like just sitting in my car eating kind of trying to decompress because I just had a job interview and it's a really important one it could definitely change my career going forward so I'm just I'm just really nervous at the moment and we'll see you know what becomes of it I won't know anything until Thursday so today is Monday I had to think about that today is Monday it is not Monday for me it's technically Thursday for me because I work until tomorrow I have one day off which is Wednesday and then I come back to work on Thursday so there will be no more of these crazy schedules anymore if I am able to get this job and I'll have weekends off which is insane because I hate working weekends I'm actually working next weekend again for the second weekend in a row and I'm really just dreading it not looking forward to it so We'll see what happens and I'm just hoping for the best. I think by the time this vlog is up, you guys will already know the verdict. Like I'll probably be part of this vlog. So I'll let you guys know what happens. And I am headed into work now. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. in a bit I think I vlogged back on Monday I'm still waiting to hear the results for my job interview I was supposed to hear back by like Thursday and today is Friday I haven't heard back yet I am currently trying to take a nap in my car because I feel like I'm dizzy like I feel very unsafe driving right now so I'm gonna try to power nap even if it's longer than a power nap even if it ends up being like an hour here I really don't care I need to sleep and then I'm gonna try to head to the gym because I have all my gym stuff I'm actually laying on it right now it's like my makeshift bed but yeah like the sunset right now is really pretty so I might do like a time lapse as I'm sleeping I have a tripod but it's like at the front of my car and I really don't feel like getting it but yeah that's like my little update for you guys. I don't really have one other than I'm working all weekend again and I'm completely, completely just drained. And I don't know, I need, I need a day off. I need a mountain day. I really wish I had three days off. That would really help. But yeah, I mean, that's all that I got. I'm hoping for, you know, a better update. <laughs> later on in the vlog we'll see what happens but yeah I'm gonna try to do a time lapse of the sunset and I will see you in the next clip 
So I left you I think soon after my job interview and it's like almost two weeks later and I found out that I didn't get the job which is really like I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to feel like I feel like yesterday was more emotional because it's literally like a slap in the face to be honest that's how I feel because I already work there right like I already work there. It's like, yeah, you're good enough to work here. You're just not good enough to work at this job permanently full time. You know what I mean? Like, you're you're good, but you're just not that good. I should have known the first time I took that job last year. I should have been better to myself because I was her second choice. And I just don't want to be anybody's second choice ever again. So lesson learned, never be anyone's second choice. Always choose you first. And I mean, I got the experience and stuff in that job. Cool. Yeah. I, you know, it was a good opportunity for me at the time, but there's just so many red flags that I completely ignored and it sucks because I kind of hyped myself up over it. I'm like, oh, I'm getting this job, you know, like I'm the only one that's trained. I'm the only one with experience. And here we are <laughs> like me disappointed you know two weeks later so yeah I'm just not happy with the situation but I'm trying to make the best out of it like it sucks that I'm gonna have to work weekends but that's what mental health days and paid mental health days are for if you guys watched my summer update on like doing YouTube full-time for the summer it kind of goes into the story as of why I'm at this place right now but here we are and yeah, today we are actually headed to Okotoks. We're headed south because I want to go to the GTF outside store. I did a haul with their stuff last year, last spring, and I'm still their ambassador, so I do get a discount with them. I get like 20% off. So I'm headed there now. If you guys want to check them out, by the way, their stuff is really beautiful and it's a local company that's local to Okotoks. So I will leave their link and everything in the description box if you guys are interested. I also have a coupon code for you guys. This video is not sponsored by them at all or anything like that. I just, I applied for their ambassador program and I got in because I'm always taking photos in the mountains and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a little bit of retail therapy and I'm gonna stop in a few places in Longview and Black Diamond. I was hoping to do like a small hike in that area today, but there really is not a lot of options right now. The highway's closed for a part of Highway 40 and part of the 542, I think it's called. So, the highway is closed for like winter and whatnot so yeah I there's not a lot of hiking options out there right now at this moment not ones that I want to do anyways so we're just kind of chilling today a little bit and just doing you know small town vibe type stuff I don't know I just need to get out of my head I need to get out of the city and you know a mountain therapy day would have been perfect for me today but i don't know i feel like everyone always changes plans on me too 
and it bothers me, but here we are. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. brunch at Heartland Cafe Oops! and now we're here at GTF outside and I will update you guys and show you what I got So we made it back home. I did pick up a few things. I just kind of wanted to do a quick little haul. So we went to the meat shop in Longview and got a bunch of jerky. I got the Prairie Fire. No, I got the original. So if you haven't been to Longview, they have this amazing jerky shop. And I've literally shown that place to every single person that I know. I've shown it to people that I go hiking with. I don't even know where my other jerky went. I think it's just, it's somewhere in this truck somewhere it probably fell on the floor actually I have no idea but I got the prairie fire jerky the original and he got these pepperoni sticks and he also got elk jerky which I also have no clue oh wait I think it's like on the side of the seat oh yeah this is the prairie fire so it's just really good for hiking snacks and stuff like that I cannot find the elk jerky we also went to Diamond Valley or I think it yeah Diamond Valley it used to be called Black Diamond, but then they changed the name and made themselves into like one town. Got tea, and I always go there for tea. I got the Lucid Dreaming Tea, and this is supposed to help actually, like it's supposed to help you remember what you saw in your dreams. I don't know if that's actually gonna work, but the tea itself has passion flower, mugwort, lavender, and rose. So it just sounded really good. I more bought it for that versus like the effects. And then we went to the GTF outside store. So I'll show you guys what I got in the next clip. Okay, so this is what we got from the GTF outside store in Okotoks. It is missing some stuff because Andy put the decal on his truck already. I forgot to take a video of that, but I will in the near future, I guess. I'll show you guys maybe in the next vlog. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys really quick what I got. I got this bear hoodie that I've been wanting. This is a new color. It's like a sage green. Well, it looks more blue on the camera versus in person. It's more green. I don't know. I think maybe it's the lighting or something, but this is the, what the front of the hoodie looks like. And then the back has their logo. I'm sure you guys will see this in a vlog. So I'm sure you guys will see photos of this and stuff on Instagram and stuff like that. I love their stuff. This is so soft. It's like fleece on the inside. So I got that hoodie and then I got this color. It's also showing up more blue on camera. I don't know why but in person this is more of like a mint green. Look at my hand. My hand looks red. I don't know what is up with this camera or this lighting right now, but this is a really bright mint green and then the logo on the back is black. I got everything in a size small and Andy got this one, which is just a black one. It has the logo on the back as well in white, I believe. 
looks like that. Very, very nice. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sorry about the background noises in this clip. But yeah. Uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.